Admittedly, the story I'm about to tell you has a closeness to it. The news value of proximity, in an unfortunate way, struck with this story. But I promise there's a cool ending to it. I'd like you to meet Christy Gerlin, California native, former Texas resident, local news reporter, dog mom, and friend. If you're lucky enough to live in Northwest Ohio or Southeast Michigan, you may have remembered her time on our airwaves after a previous stint in Texas. As someone who's been there on people's worst days, she had thought she knew the feeling of loss, but what she experienced personally gave her a whole new outlook. When she called out for me and I found her in the bathroom and she was sweating and she said that, you know, she was, you know, hard to breathe, I figured maybe she was having another heart attack. I tried to get the iPad for the nurse and I couldn't get it to work. And so um, that's when I called 911. The three firefighters came in and uh, they walked down the hallway. Uh, they were talking to my mom. My mom was still very uh, aware and talking. Um, she had collapsed on the floor at that time. So I grabbed the office chair in the office and uh, the heart monitor was you know, showing a heart with them. And uh, she was I was talking to her, they, they were talking to her and then like that, like, Kathy Gerlet, a supportive and, when needed, blunt mother, as I recall from the hilarious dinner I got to partake in with her and Christy, had passed away. The scene played out in February of 2023 in Christy's apartment, a space that had hosted so many mother-daughter moments that past year, after Kathy drove cross-country to spend time with her star daughter. She started to be more consistent, like staying here, you know, full time. Once I started working at Channel 11, she really, really wanted me to to take the job with them. I could be on like a promo for 15 seconds or a headline. And she was like my biggest fan. Um, and so I would definitely say that like the last, you know, year and a half I had with her was the best of our relationship. But as the days went on, the emptiness weighed heavy on Christie's mind. She recalls the visit she received from a friend which began with her laying in the same spot her mother took her last breaths. She went to lay with me. She was like, but can we open a, a window? Can we get, get some air? Um, I am in a much different place than that. Uh, you, can, you can overcome that. Um, I've just learned to live um, with those images that are never gonna leave me. But in those immediate tough moments, people that didn't leave her. Even now when I look back and I think about that moment of just how calm and quiet they were, um, opposed to me, who was just screaming and banging and on the floor, off the floor, and calling this. I, I mean, they, I, they just weren't distracted. With her memory of their professionalism still intact, it became Christie's mission to meet them under calmer circumstances and thank them. But that wasn't without hesitancy as Christy has had trouble overcoming the embarrassment of the very human response she felt, something the brave crew you two will meet was used to. I give hugs, Christy. guys. Oh, okay. Good to see you, Christy. Christy <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to take in your faces because I've been thinking about you guys for the past, you know, over a year, and I've never been able to put a face to a name, so. We do not view ourselves as heroes and we need to be appropriate. And this is our job. We're professionals. We take it seriously. We get paid to do it. And we try our best to do it well every day. You do what you can to try to make the biggest impact and try and help whoever you can. Actions described in a manner so simple, yet performed with a complexity that was memorable. Can you say Victor? Private Joe Stom. Private Todd Nidek. Private Robert Houck. Private Zachary Bozigar. <laughs> yes. Forever bonded from a call over a year ago that, due to their compassion, earned them gratitude and showed them the power behind the words, thank you. Reporting in Toledo, I'm Jaden Jefferson.